WeCare is primarily a fundraising effort held the first full weekend of December each year. It is an all-volunteer organization with 100% of all funds raised dispersed to selected local organizations that provide assistance to the disadvantaged and less fortunate, as well as the mentally and physically challenged within our community. We Care is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. But have you ever wondered about how it all began? It was just prior to Christmas in 1973 when WWKI disc jockey Dick Bronson received a call while hosting his hour-long call-in radio program, Viewpoint. The call was from a longtime laid-off auto worker asking what he was supposed to do in order to give his family a happy holiday season. Bronson offered to donate $20, half of what was in his wallet, if others listening would do the same. What transpired was a spontaneous extra hour of viewpoint and cash totaling over $1,000, plus some food, toys, and clothing. Not only was the unemployed auto worker helped, but other families in the community were aided as well. With the first solicitation, Dick Bronson established a continuing philosophy whereby every dime and or item donated would be used to assist the underprivileged. The funds raised by We Care are dispersed among five organizations and one fund in Kokomo. The Kokomo Rescue Mission, the Salvation Army, the Kokomo Tribune sponsored Goodfellows, Bonavista Rehabilitative Services, the Mental Health America of Howard County's Holiday Gift Lift Program, and the We Care Hope Fund for long-term gifting. These organizations provide assistance in the form of food, toys, and clothing for the less fortunate. We Care aims to respond with love and care to meet the needs of the impoverished so they, they all may enjoy the joy and hope of the Christmas season and have proper food and clothing for the winter months. We Care has developed into an annual 48-hour radio telethon broadcast auction that touches everyone who either lives or works in a five-county area surrounding Kokomo, Indiana. It is held the first full weekend of December and organized and staffed by local volunteers. All auction items are donated and vary with the imagination including handmade afghans, crochet items, original artwork, coins, fine jewelry, guns, expertly crafted knives, collectibles, antiques, furniture, resort vacations, land, automobiles, and the list continues. Nearly 40,000 bid tickets are used for the more than 3,360 items which are sold during the marathon auction. The balance of the donated items are sold during a wrap-up auction the following week. We Care exemplifies volunteerism at its best as more than 700 individuals from every walk of life give their time for the 48-hour marathon telethon. It is a coordinated effort of 26 departments all working together for a common goal. Late one evening in the early 1980s, while Jan Bueller was sorting through the boxes and bags of the daily donated items, a small doll fell out of one bag. Instantly, the look on the doll's face touched the hearts of those working. In the silence of the moment, everyone knew the doll would touch the hearts of the community. Her dress was wrinkled, her hair a mess, and a stain on her face had once held a tear. She was named Hope. She immediately took her place on the set of the annual We Care Telethon. At the conclusion of the 1986 telethon, in one spontaneous act, Hope was the last item offered for bid. She was purchased and then unexpectedly returned the following year to be sold again. A tradition began which has established Hope as a special part of a community that shares its love and resources unselfishly. A likeness of Hope has been featured in various artwork, coins, jewelry, and clothing. She has won the hearts of the community, but has been privileged to be held by just a very few. We Care continues to follow the philosophy that was established in 1973. All donations are used for assistance and no overhead or costs of the program. 
We Care organizers pride themselves in maintaining such simplicity. A mirror reflection of the heart of this community is seen in the eyes of our children as they experience the blessing of Christmas and the wonderment and mystery of Santa. So, if you have ever wondered about the history of We Care, now you know.